Drugs are crucial in diagnosing medical issues in humans. Now it's also being used for animals and for the very first vet in the country to get it. It's actually right here in Las Vegas. So here to talk more about it is Dr. Dana Geetzit with the Las Vegas Veterinary Specialty Center to tell us about the technology and also Frenchie is back. Frenchie was <laughs> on the 7 to 9 show with Jason. Frenchie's like old hat with this yeah. stuff. So anyway, thanks for being here to yeah, both of welcome. you. Uh, so let's talk about this. You guys, the first vet clinic in America to get this MRI technology. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's the first high field veterinary specific machine. Uh, so what that means is it's a size magnet or a size MRI that they often use in human medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just just for veterinary medicine. How, how, were you, how was your particular location chosen as the first one in the entire country to get this technology? Um, well, we're on looking for uh, an MRI just because we started the neurology service uh, at Las Vegas Veterinary Specialty Center. Um, and Hallmark, the company that we got the MRI with, mm -hmm. um, was trying to look for a central location on the west side. Um, and so I'm that's assuming how these are the about. pictures of it right here yes. that we're looking at. So, so that's the, the unit. What are some of the advantages of this new MRI? So with it being a higher field, we get better image quality um, in a faster period of time. Uh, so most of the vet-specific machines are a smaller magnet, so it tends to take a long time. Mm -hmm. And with veterinary imaging, they have to be anesthetized. So we're always trying to find the shortest way to have them under gotcha. anesthesia. Absolutely. So that's the most important part. Okay, as a pet owner, um, a many of them watching right now. How do you know when, it, when your pet might need an MRI? Um, so we, we image for a lot of different reasons. I mean, the primary reason is for any kind of <laughs> neurological issue. Uh, so if they're seizing, um, if they're circling, if they've got limb weakness, um, neck or back pain, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, we're also starting to, to image kind of sports medicine, uh, oh, wow. sh shoulder injuries, looking at muscle injuries and things like that. Um, and this kind of technology will help you guys moving forward in what kind of ways? Just better diagnose and treat? Yes, I mean the better imaging that you can get, the better idea you have what's going on since our patients can't talk to us and tell us what they're sure, feeling. Sure, sure. What do you hope uh, this technology does for you guys? I mean where, where is the, I guess where is the, the technology going with this? Um, just to, to have a better way to, to diagnose disease so we can have the best possible way of figuring out what's the best treatment. Mm -hmm. Um, what are some uh, cases where you guys have used this new MRI that has helped some of the pets that you guys have seen? Uh, so we're using it on a daily basis for things like ruptured disc disease, um, determining where we need to do surgery. Um, in cases where they have vascular events or stroke-like events, um, you're not going to find that on something like a CT scan. Right. Um, and then cases of, of shoulder injuries, we're starting to use it more in the orthopedic field than we have before. All right. Well, excellent. This is exciting stuff, huh, Frenchie? This is exciting stuff. All right. By the way, Frenchie's up for adoption at the uh, Nevada SPCA if you want to take Frenchie home. Uh, thanks to Frenchie, and thank you, Dr. Dana, as well. This is a great thing for pet owners out there. All right, Jason. All right. Thanks, Dave. Well.